for me, it, it's, it, it's painful because I'm a survivor of, of that. So when, when I first came here, I, I felt that. The objects that make up this 40-foot long piece of art, the baskets, buttons, pieces of charred wood, were collected from residential schools, churches, friendship centers, and band offices from across the country. They are powerful reminders of a darker side of Canada's past. The first thing it does is, is bring out an anger in a, in, in a survivor, in, because that's where your, where your thoughts go. And when, when I work with uh, my coworkers here, I, I, I will always tell them about healing, and I, I will, I'll always tell them I will, I will never he I will never heal from that experience. It's, it's because as long as you have a memory, I, I, will, I will not heal from it. This isn't just something you're going to look at and leave. Uh, it requires or it, it rewards uh, contemplative viewing. The witness blanket on display at the View Gallery at Vancouver Island University in Nanaimo was created by First Nations artist and master carver Carrie Newman as a national monument to recognize the impact of the residential school era on the first people of Canada and to symbolize reconciliation and a way to bring closure. When I think of um, Tukwot, it's, it's kind of like a ceremony around Blanken. It's, it's kind of something, a ceremony that we do when, when somebody falls or something and we'll wrap them in a blanket and have people come and encourage their life. And that's how I see this blanket. It's, it's kind of like that for residential school survivors of saying to you that we didn't forget that, that you're in our hearts. And what struck me right away was that the sense of confusion, it's hard to know where to start looking, what, what comes first, uh, really, in my mind, replicates, I should think, uh, a bit the experience of a child taken from their home, from their family, and confronted uh, with all of these things at once. And that kind of sense of confusion, it's hard to make head or tails of things. I believe uh, Carrie Newman has really given the viewer an opportunity to empathize a little bit. Over 150,000 First Nations, Métis and Inuit children over seven generations were removed from their families and forced to attend government-funded, church-run schools. Their hair cut off, their traditional clothing replaced with uniforms, their family and identity stripped away. So the purpose was, I mean, the Duncan Campbell Scott's famous line was to kill the Indian and the child. I was involved in a whole pile of healing circles around residential school for six years. And the elders that were there were kind of like saying, I have my grandchildren coming to me now for culture and I don't, I don't know my language, I don't know a song. So those were the things that we were dealing with. So residential school, was kind of part of that, taking the, the Indian out of the child. And I, I think they've, they've come close to succeeding that. In, in, in my village right now, our, our language is on a verge of extinction. The witness blanket has traveled thousands of kilometers to remote villages, townships, and city centers across Canada. Bringing the blanket to VIU marks the start of its Reconciliation Road program, a series of events taking place at the university over the coming year. I think for me, reconciliation, and I have said this before, it's, you know, everybody's um, challenged and struggling to look at that big R reconciliation. You know, those 94 calls to action are quite daunting, but from my perspective, it's the little R reconciliation, those, those moments where people can read something on this wall that shifts their perception, you know, creates an understanding that they did not have before, that then they will go home and have that conversation at the dinner table. And I think once you witness this, I don't think you can go back to, to that ignorant place. I think that, that once you witness this and see these images and see these artifacts, you, you are touched emotionally. And I think, again, that's what needs to happen for people to connect. To see the art installation, the pictures, and read the stories from the children, you're able to witness the experience of the residential schools. So it's, it's kind of um, uh, a feeling that, that goes with, with this blanket. It, it's not the blanket itself, it's what it portrays in here. I think that's kind of what I, what I want to say. You're, you're really not going to look at this and, and make sense of everything that's there, but, it, but I think you'll get a feeling from everything that's pinned on that wall.
At the end of the Witness Blanket's journey to communities across the nation, artist Carrie Newman hopes it will find a home at the Center for Truth and Reconciliation at the University of Manitoba. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Annette Lucas.